And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Darius Noxus Allegiance. We're going to be playing a Basilisk Rider deck. Of course, this is the Noxus Allegiance card, 4 mana, 4 3, that if you hit Allegiance, it's a 5 4 Overwhelm. So, big difference there between being a, a generic 4 3 with no keywords and a 5 4 Overwhelm. So, we really want to hit our um, allegiance all the time. So we're only going to have three cards that are not Noxus, and those three are going to be the powerful attacker of Ruin Runner. That's going to fit our curve um, right in the five mana slot. Um, but we're going to be an aggressive Noxus deck. We got uh, nine one drops. We're playing one Draven's biggest fan over the third Legion rear guard um, because we do want to have Draven on round three as much as possible. So we're, we're going to play one biggest fan as you know, kind of like the fourth Draven in there. And then we got our good Noxus 2s, House Spider, Demolitionist, Grenadier, of course Draven at 3. And Draven's not only going to be important because it's a wonderful attacker, but since we're kind of going wide and having all these cheap units, we're going to go ahead and play a couple of Visions in here that can just act as like a zero mana, buff all of our stuff up, a, a great card to discard to Spinning Axe. And something that people probably won't be expecting too much. Like people are used to playing against Vision in the discard aggro deck and it's really good in there but people probably aren't that used to playing it in other places and so i think the vision um could be pretty nice for us because we can even just you know hard cast a vision sometimes three mana give all of our stuff plus one plus one i think it's similar that's similar to um brothers bond wherever brothers bond is there we go grant two allies plus two plus zero you know that's so that's two mana get plus four plus zero across two things probably a little better than like hard casting this for three mana right depending if you have six things out though you're getting plus six plus zero but you know I, you'd probably rather have brothers bond and vision but the the strength of this card is how it can cost zero whenever and you discard it and so that's where this card can get really really good and so that's why we're going to have it in here because um, we're going to try to end these games fast and then our top end's all about overwhelm with iron ballista basilisk rider ruin runner darius you know try to just smash in with some overwhelm to finish the game out we got a little bit of nexus damage with fervor decimate and then of course some nexus damage with the grenadier demolitionist as well and yeah so just not not fancy just noxus aggro and getting some attacks in so that's what we're going to start the day off with today we got four donation decks we're going to be playing and uh all of them going to be attacking and we got a lot of shreema decks all shreema decks and uh, i think this is going to be a good day today all right, I'm all the way back down to Diamond 4. <laughs> so that Diamond 1 for a while. Had a rough week. We need to get back up there. Seasonal tournament's coming up, so we need to get... I need to do some ranking maybe off stream. All right, Lissandra, Talia, and Zillion. So it looks like this is going to be a Turbo Thrall deck. But they also got Zillion. All right, so Mulligan, Darius... Because basically just, you know, cards that cost a lot of mana... In the opening hand, Mulligan out. That's maybe my favorite emote. <laughs> Darius one's not bad either. I have my <laughs> House Spider. They had the round two Frozen Thrall. Emotes are a lot of fun. Now, so, I know some people don't like it when their opponents emote, but I, I think they're pretty fun. Now this could be a you know could be an avalanche. Yeah. Good avalanche. I mean, they, they killed two things, then you know, got some damage in on the Draven. But with what our deck strategy is, is I'm not really going to be playing around avalanche, to be honest. I'm I'm playing my cards out. If that's another avalanche... Wow. Okay, so... Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But... Alright, so Ruin Runner. Yeah. 
Well, I could I could go Draven Demolitionist. I think we're gonna go Ruin Runner. Good time for it. Yeah, double avalanche. Looks like they got me. Yeah, and a tavern keeper. Yep, they got me. Just a moment. I've got meat bigger than you. Yeah, landmark removal is pretty good right now with, um, because this deck is picking up steam. This is a really good deck. It's picking up steam, but then even like the Aurelia Azir has that um, that two mana landmark that you really want to get rid of. All right, GGs. All right, double avalanche got us. Good game. Especially, you know, because that second avalanche was the, the card they just drew that round. Because without that, you know, even after the first one, we're, we still, with House Spider, rebuilt our board. We had that vision. We are going to attack for a ton. But they had the second. And that was, that was game. Okay, same matchup. Hopefully, no more avalanches. Um, do I keep demolitionist? I guess demolitionist doesn't die to. It doesn't attack for a ton, but it doesn't die. Um. To avalanche. And you know we got the perfect one drop for the demolitionist, right? We so we can go. So this is a good hand again. We have the attack token round one this time. That's certainly important. Draven's biggest fan was the weakest card in our deck. Alright, so they got the round one frozen thrall. That's the best start. For the Empire. Y'all remember we played it? Um, we played this deck the other day, and out of five games, I only had, a, you know, early frozen thrall like round one, round two, one time in the five games. My opponents today have been having it though. That's why you play Vision. That's a good Vision. Welcome to the Tipsy Probably just gonna be discarding this Draven's biggest fan with the spinning axe. I have my orders. Sure hope they didn't find Ice Shard. Wow. The only card in the game that could save him. Wow. Um, all right, so let's do this. Time for the money makers. Turning Dra Draven's biggest fan into just one damage is, is going to be worth it. Okay, 
Hopefully we can finish this one out. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. They're gonna get the eight eight though. You know, no reason to play the saboteur, of course. All these sweepers, so many avalanches and ice shards and blighted ravines. We're getting so close. But man, our opponents. The thing about the kind of deck that we're playing is, you know, you force your opponent to have a really good hand, and our, our opponents have these last two. Dang. I, think, I guess that's game over. We got to draw. Dang, yeah. We have to draw fervor. And, wow, we did. And so that, that's what I was going to say here. Is, is like I could have attacked Ruin Runner and like traded for one of those, but really the only way we can win this is fervor. Oh, no! But they have the tough nexus with Latandra. I, I, I didn't think about that. So basically, what I was, well, I, the reason why I didn't, because I was just going to have like the spell shield for the fervor. But yeah, so if I would have attacked with the ruin runner, used both spinning axes, I could have got one point of damage across, and then I could have fervor here. Dang. Wow. What losing feels like. These two opponents, man. Okay, another... Another Freljord deck. This can definitely be another Ice Shard deck. We need a one drop. I guess we gotta get rid of Ryder. If I had a one drop, right, like I would I would just keep like the one drop Grenadier Draven Ryder. But with not having the one drop, I need need to mulligan this. Look for one. Okay, good. Reporting in. I'll do better this time. I'm gonna wait on this vision. Out of my way. Just two damage. It's kind of all about ice shard again, right? Like I really hope they don't have ice shard. Okay, well. That was like the best possible outcome for that ice shard for us. They just use it right now. It's like, I guess they could have a second ice shard, but I sure hope not. All that glitters is mine. It's a I should have played that after attacks. <laughs> oh, they didn't even challenge. They didn't even challenge. Oh my gosh, does that mean a second ice shard? I 
It's a name. I would have, if I was more confident in them not having an eye shard, I, I would have, you know, gone with Precious Pet Saboteur and gone wide. Nothing personal. down to two. Could easily discard another precious pet and try to level up Draven. Hey, what's up, AJ Boo? GG's. That was that was a good game. I don't mind. I don't mind the emotes the, at all. I think the emotes are fun. All right, so we got them down to two. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Some nice, nice avalanches you had. So the second avalanche got me. We played the exact same mo the, the exact same matchup right after you. And they had like the ice shard they need to stay alive and some other stuff like that. Well, it looks like we we got one now. So all right, so we're one and two. First time not playing against multiple sweepers. Our opponent only had one ice shard that game, <laughs> not not multiple. First two opponents had the multiple. All right, playing against Aurelia Azir. So they're not going to have any ice shards. That's good, but are we going to be fast enough? Jack, be polite. He wasn't... Our, our opponent wasn't, wasn't uh, sniping. But yeah, that second avalanche top deck got me. Um... But still, just... You don't, don't need to be rude to, to viewers. Don't need to be rude. All right, so again, I think we'll just keep Grenadier and Draven. We'll get our top end. Yeah, two Darius in the deck. Would have been a little better for us to have that Legion Saboteur around one. We'll, we'll make do. I don't mind having multiple Dravens, like the Draven champion spell can always be very useful. We get to get two free units in play. Good curve for them. Good one, two, three. That's for sure. This would have been a lot better to have that saboteur on one. A lot better. Alright, 
so they're not blocking. Are blocking. Hmm. Unexpected. I have my orders. All right, not bad. No mercy. For those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Yeah, we only have two visions, but we've had them every single hand, every single game. And we have... Um, we have the three, the three riders and haven't played a rider yet. That can do some pretty crazy stuff. Got an axe with your name on it. Try me. Now we're cooking. Did they not get their... They didn't get their Blade Surge? <clears throat> Don't they usually get a Blade Surge? You hoping they'll die of boredom? Stone. Gross. I should have just done Whirling Death first. I, I should have just done Whirling Death first. Okay, so they would have got the Blade Surge if they attacked with Aurelia on the right of Azir. Good to know. Should have gone with Whirling Death first, but... Great hands. I need that one drop on round one. Not later, but... Yeah, it's an amazing hand. That's what our deck kind of asks our opponents, is... Do you have an amazing hand? And we've had three opponents that, yes, they have had amazing hands. 
Because, like, even the first two, like, having, like, the Frozen Thralls right away in that deck, and then multiple sweepers, and then, you know, everything else they had, too, at the top end. It's like, if our, if our opponents stumble just a little, we're going to be winning, but we've had three opponents that have not stumbled in the slightest. Because we're very consistent, right? Like, we're consistently putting a lot of pressure on them early. If they stumble at all. We're winning, so... <clears throat> this game's a two-way street, and our opponents have had very good hands to win three of the games, you know? Like, that's that's just how, how it's been. But I don't think that our deck... I don't think this is a... I think this deck's been performing very well, honestly. Yeah, Draven's got the best voice lines. Right, so it's yeah, Draven's got very good voice lines. Man, I hope they don't have that two drop, right? That two drop is a problem. The two mana two three. That card's a problem. I don't want to play Grenadier here, because I don't want Grenadier to trade with this thing. I guess maybe I should have just blocked and then play Grenadier, and that's like my best play against the two mana two three. I guess that that's what it was. I'll just do this. Awesome. Oh, awesome. They didn't they didn't have the two man two three. Pass. Don't have the two three. So why would they pass priority first and not just play it? Because like I could have passed priority and then attacked. Like what's what's their thinking? Hey Tinfins, I'm doing good. How are you doing? No, they don't play Fading Memories. These are the three best cards in their deck in this matchup. Early, you know, and then, you know, like, obviously, you have your Maokai, your, your six mana sea monster, all that kind of stuff, but these are the good early blockers that they got. Alright, so double lure. Twenty cards left. You lost. This is be nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Okay, so they're they're gonna be deep next round. If I 
it's 20 right now. Blocking here makes it 19. They draw, that's 18. Blocking here makes it 17. If I block here, so they're looking at 16, and then next round they draw for turn 15, so then they're deep. We know they have more sea monster. This isn't isn't a wonderful block. Force them to have some. Force them to at least play something else to make them go deep. They could go Devour and kill this, but they have to have, like, Jettison first, right? Like, if I would have made that block, they would just go regular Devour. They play two, lure the depth, so Devour only costs four mana. Their best thing is Jettison, Devour, which, wow, they had it. <laughs> they burned the other Jettisons. Maybe they don't have Devour. No devour, please. I hope I had it. Well, learn from this. That didn't go according to plan. We ran into some really hot opponents. Opponents consistently had all the all the best cards in their deck for the matchup. That's that's just what happened. And, um, you know, we don't have, like, a lot of, you know, like, there's not, like, a ton of, like, interaction with this, right? Like, there's not a lot of back and forths. You just put a lot of pressure on the opponent and, and ask them the questions. Do you have a really good hand against Noxus? And, unfortunately, our opponents had that answer for us in these games. Like, if you look to even, like, you know, that deep opponent, um, you know, had <laughs> had a lot of great early blockers. And, you know, round six devour eat your darius round six like that's that's gonna be game and they're still at 16 life i like the deck i don't think i would necessarily change too much i i i would be pretty comfortable of like playing another five games and and us going four one in another five games right we just didn't we didn't have any opponents stumble and that's what you kind of have to have you have to have some opponents don't stumble uh, but they had you know we just saw lots and lots of sweepers Everybody had their one drops, right? Like our first, our first uh, three, and then four. So four of the five games, games one, two, three, and four, our opponents only had one one cost card in their deck, in their whole deck, and all four of them had that one card round one. <laughs> you know, like so that's you know it was like frozen thrall, frozen thrall, omen hawk, and then like that last one with the the one mana two one that tosses. So everybody had like their their best card like they're only one drop everybody had it round one and it was just like that kind of day right like it was it was that kind of th those kind of games that like everybody had like their their best uh, anti-aggro hands yeah so that 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 happens all right but those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments if you got other ideas for noxus um basilisk rider you know, we never we never had the Basilisk Rider. I had it in one opening hand that I mulliganed because we didn't we had the attack token round one and I didn't have a one drop, so I had to mulligan it. Um, but we never had it besides that, so we never got to like you know play it all on round four and curve out with it, unfortunately, because it never drew up. All right, that's uh, but that's here for that's it for this one. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.